name is Anna and welcome back to Cactus Caffeine where I share with you my passion of growing cactus and other desert plants over a cup of coffee. So yesterday actually I did a live video here on YouTube where I showed um, uh, some of my cacti that are in flower. So um, I missed out on some of the questions that were posted on the chat because it was going really quick. <laughs> so I am so sorry, but I would like to answer one question that was uh, asked, I think two or three times in that live video that I did yesterday. So the question was, what do I do with the flowers after they wilted? Or what do I do when the flowers have dried out? Okay, so for me, I after the flowers have dried out as you can see I have several that are already on its way out I do not remove them right away I wait for a few more days until the flower in the flower stem if you can call that a stem <laughs> this one is completely dried out why because sometimes you will be fortunate to have your flowers actually pollinated whether you did the pollination yourself or nature did it for you like the bees the moths or the butterflies did the pollination you will be sometimes fortunate and a cactus fruit would actually develop so as you can see here the green swelling at the bottom that is the fruit that is forming so this is the flower that is now dried and after a few days you can see the bottom swelling that means a fruit is developing in your flower or on your cactus so i wait a few more days before i take them off now this is another example for instance if you see something like this so this one did not develop any fruit if you like tug on it see it easily comes off or sometimes it actually falls off by itself okay so let's see all right this one is a lobivia arachnacantha so this pot is actually a good example because it has some that developed fruits and some that did not so this one see it easily came off and the bottom there is no swelling so you can just you know discard this but in here see that so the bottom has swelled so it is developing a fruit and if you tug on it there's actually resistance so it doesn't come off right away okay but for the rest you can do a clean see this one is there is a resistance so i think there is a fruit that's forming i will leave it for now now if you don't like the fruit um you might think what is that fruit for <laughs> can i eat it uh technically yes all cactus fruits you can eat it but these are too small you just end up eating mostly seeds <laughs> but uh, if you have a big fruit like the dragon fruit yes by all means you can eat that or the fruits of the prickly pear yes you can eat those but these are too small so what do you do with these fruits if you open these up there are actually seeds in there that you can um sow or plant yourselves let me find another example here of a cactus fruit here this one is a bigger one so this is a lobivia see that is a fruit this one is a fruit this one i'm lucky with this one because i did not pollinate this so this is really the uh what what the bees did so it's bees that pollinated this one although i can see one here that is not pollinated so you can actually just discard this okay so now oh i think i forgot to mention a while ago the reason why i do not remove the flowers right away after they wilted for instance um these okay so these were open yesterday but now they are closing if you do not want the fruits or you're not interested in sowing the seeds anyway i would still wait before you take these off 
because sometimes if the stem is still green like this one there are some cacti wherein the stems are firmly attached to the cactus uh, body so if you pull on this you might actually hurt or you might you know uh, create a wound like an open cut on your cactus and if you live in a wet and humid environment it can introduce bacteria or fungus in that open cut uh, right there so I would not recommend you to take off the flowers right away if the stem is still green and firmly attached to the cactus so wait a few more days until it dries out and then you can gently pull it off if you are not interested in saving the fruit you can gently twist this to remove the fruit just be very careful not to damage your cactus oh here is another fruit here so the fruits you have to wait for them to ripen to know if they are ripe they will change their color so like this is still green that is not ready so wait for it to change color either yellow orange sometimes red okay or sometimes they would actually burst open and you would see the spe the seeds spilling out so that's how also you know that the fruits are ready to be picked so this one has been here for a couple of weeks now so see nothing okay so this one you can discard so you can easily take it off and it doesn't create a big cut in there just a tiny tiny one which will callous very quickly but if you introduce a big cut in there uh, it would take a few days before it would callous and if it rains or if it's damp in your area then it can you know it fungus and bacteria can get introduced into that and that is detrimental to your plant all right so if you're interested on um, how to harvest your cactus fruits and how to gather the seeds i made a video on that i'll link the video down this screen or up on your screen <laughs> so just look up or down there will be a link to that video all right so i hope i was able to answer the questions of the viewers yesterday so that's what i would do or that's what i would recommend to do if you have flowers that have already wilted from your cactus plants all right everyone i hope that um, is useful for you guys and if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe if you like cactus and other desert plants follow me on facebook cactus caffeine and in instagram cactus caffeine usa all right next time again guys bye everyone and cheers